All right, guys, we are back with another cinematic camera video of another vehicle. This time we're using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yes, the green one. And we're checking out the 2022 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy Edition. Now I want to give a big shout out to Hyundai for sending over this vehicle so we could check it out. And also took it on the road trip, especially using the SUV like this, checking it out for that. And I want to also give a shout out to my buddy, Mark Lingsangam. Hey, go check out his channel. He did some awesome camera work for me here with this vehicle. And as you can see, the vehicle looks stunning all around. We have the all black uh, Palisade calligraphy with also all black interior as well. But let's start with the outside of the vehicle as we uh, embark on this road trip. You've got 20 inch alloy rims that look really nice on here with this car. And then we look around the vehicle, the car just looks really nice. It's got a very aggressive but subtle look to it. That's how I actually I would describe it. The front grille is massive. The Hyundai logo on there. You can see uh, the the tearing with the bumper, and then also the lights are also very definitive. And I like the way it shapes up all around. Now, when you bank around the vehicle, you go to the back, you can see the Palisade logo there, and you can easily pop up in the trunk to reveal the trunk space. Kind of looks small, right? Mm, not so much. Uh, this car allows you to drop down the third row seating because yes, it does have three row seating. It seats eight people, by the way, but you can drop that down and you can, of course, store whatever you want to, or you can sit there and lie down by yourself if you want to and pop out of the vehicle. Now, the cool thing is this vehicle also has charging ports right there in the trunk so you can actually go ahead and uh, do some uh, some work or just charge some stuff if you want to. Let's get into the vehicle properly itself, right? Before you get in, you see it's got premium cargo uh, spill plates. And as you get into the car, you've got this perforated leather wrapped steering wheel and just the whole view in front of you that is quite unique now a standard steering wheel you've got two led displays in front um, of course one is for uh, just all your functions of your of your vehicle and you also have a heads-up display that shows up right in front of you and then to the right you've got this digital display that kind of looks like it's android based uh, but of course it does have android auto and apple carplay connect connectivity which is cool then you've got controls below that and then you've got your um, your drive controls here, which is very interesting. Now, these are buttons uh, for your park, your reverse, your neutral settings. And then you've got your different drive modes. You've got things like comfort, sport, smart. Uh, you've got, you know, snow. And then you can also lock in the all wheel drive for the vehicle. And it kind of shows up on screen right in front of you as you're switching through those dials, so which is pretty nice. So control wise, it's great. Um, the car has quilted leather interior panels all around. So by the doors of the car, you can actually see that the, the chairs themselves are nice solid leather it also has a, a little bit of a racing feel to it and then the headliner which is a bit darker in this vehicle because it's all black is microfiber uh, headliner which is which is nice I, I kind of like it. it gives a very soft comfortable feel to it again you've got seven passenger seating uh, in this car so you've got two seats in the front two in the middle and you've got a third row at the back and you've got uh, nice controls all around for everyone. Now, speaking of controls, as well as also amenities, you've got wireless charging built into the vehicle when you open up the cup tray, which you can cycle into different options there, right? You can actually make it a space or a cup tray, but you also have a USB port right there. You open up the, the cubby on the side, you also have more USB ports to charge. And then what you find that in the second row, there are USB ports there as well, as well as also USB ports in the third row seating. So there used to be ports everywhere on this vehicle. So everyone who needs charging can get it. Now, speaking of the wedding, I wanna give a big shout out to Sarah and Tom the Chat Chap for the wonderful wedding. And thank you for having us there. It was good to see everyone there. Uh, all the different YouTubers that you know, Gadgets Boy, you know, Michael Fisher, you name it. But it was a fun time and just giving them a big shout out here. But it was nice to have this vehicle to drive down to check them out. Now, it's a very big vehicle. It's got a lot of power and 
and I liked the overall feel of the vehicle while driving. And for a four hour, 30 minute drive, uh, it, we took a, a tank from 350 miles down to about 50. And to fill up the tank, it cost me $76 from basically quarter tank. So take it as you will. This car does a really good job with that kind of stuff. I really like it. And I want to know what you guys think of this video and what cars do you want to see next in our next cinematic video. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and uh, go watch the next one.